السلام علیکم مارے اسٹوڈنٹس اور ٹو ایز ٹاپک از انوائرمنٹ پروٹیکشن ایکٹ فار دا بیٹرمنٹ آف انوائرمنٹ ڈفرینٹ اسٹیپس ہیو بین ٹیکن آن گلوبل لیول آن کنٹری لیول آن اسٹیٹ لیول ایٹ ایوری لیول دے ہیو بین ڈیوائز ڈفرینٹ میکنزمس ٹو فائٹ اور ٹو کنٹرول دا انوائرمنٹل پرابلمس سو ایٹ دا لیگل لیول ڈفرینٹ لاز بائی ڈفرینٹ کنٹریز ہین بی فرامڈ ٹو پینلائز دا پیپل ہو who are destroying or badly affecting the environment. So in India, we have different laws. One of the laws is Environment Protection Act 1986. It is there to pro- uh, provide protection and prevent environment. The, to provide the protection to environment is there. This act came into force on 19 November 1986. and is extended to the whole of India, including our UT, Jumma and Kashmir, the Aswail state, Jumma and Kashmir. The main objectives of this act are, number one is protection and improvement of environment. Number two, prevention of hazards to all living creatures, plants, animals, humans, and property. Maintenance of harmonious relationship between humans and the environment and there are different terms which have been used in this act which we will be discussing the original act we will be discussing in detail the different terms are environment you know it it includes everything in and out of yourself including air, water, land, everything and that coexists between the environmental pollutant means any solid or liquid or gaseous substance that may uh, tend to be injurious to environment environmental pollution it means the presence in the environment of any environmental pollutant hazard substance a substance is liable to cause harm to humans and other living creatures in property in environment by reason of its chemical or physiochemical properties or handling are categorized as hazards, substances. So environmental protection law, it came into force on 19 November 1986. So it is there for the protection and improvement of environment. Its objectives can be summarized as protection and improvement of environment. It's there how we can protect and improve the environment, how the law and the act will be helpful, how the legal machinery will be helpful in protecting and, and improving the environment. How can we prevent the hazards to different living creatures? How can we protect plants, animals and humans and even property? What should be the harmonious relationship? How can we develop a harmonious a friend relation between humans and the environment. So in the next sessions we will be discussing about the law. What are the different powers that have been delegated to the center and states? How they are correlating with each other? We will be discussing these things in the coming sessions.